I'm Dr. Jamie Laviola of Dental Masters of Alexandria and we brought the cameras in here to give you a little bit of insight about the dental implant process. Uh, we have a theme around here, no one should be wearing dentures. Uh, and you're gonna get to meet some patients and I hope you really enjoy it. So around here we say no more dentures. No one should be wearing a loose fitting denture um, that they are not able to chew, uh, enjoy, smile, worry about it falling out while they're dancing. Um, all the things that they can do during life um, and dentures can definitely prohibit that from, uh, from people enjoying their life. So typically there's two types of, of patients that come in for dental implants. Uh, the first one would be people that are uh, headed towards dentures, have uh, bad teeth, bleeding gums, disease. Uh, and the second uh, type of person is someone who is already wearing a denture that um, is loose, not fitting, uh, and their quality of life may not be as good as it could be. So the problem with dentures is they're, they're not attached to anything. And in the, in the past, everything was patchwork, um, any way to, to fix things, but now we have dental implants and it's a very exciting time. Um, we can grow bone if uh, there's not enough bone. Um, there's, there hasn't been a, a person that we haven't been able to provide a solution for. Um, and it's really exciting for me because uh, I've seen people transform that I didn't even know was possible. Um, in different ways. I, I, I called it before the, the, uh, the ripple effect, meaning that someone could come up with a, uh, a new set of teeth, new um, uh, implant supported dentures, or we use ceramic uh, bridges sometimes. Um, and uh, from that point forward, now when they go to a job interview, they are more confident, there's more charisma. Now, when they are and maybe dating, um, they feel more confident. Um, so all these things are, are part of having a, a smile that you can chew with and, um, and you're not embarrassed about and you have confidence. I wore dentures for four to six months and it was horrible. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And my sister works as a dental hygienist for Dr. Laviola and she told me about implants and I said, let's do it. It was worth it. I flew from Arizona, come here, and he did the lowers and the uppers both. Um, I have teeth now that do not come in and out and I can eat all of the foods that I want. My most favorite foods, apples, carrots, celery, love the, the crunchy vegetables and I can eat them now. I called my mom and I said, mom, I just bit into my first apple in like six years. And she laughed at me, but you know, it was a big deal for me. I hadn't had a, a good crunchy apple in years. It was totally worth it. I've always had bad teeth my life at, throughout my life. And now I have a beautiful smile. <laughs> and um, I get compliments and I'm so happy with my teeth today. So our center here is unique uh, in that we do everything under one roof. Um, in the old days, like maybe my first two years of practicing, I would send implants to a specialist, a periodontist or a surgeon, and they come back and there's this back and forth. Um, now when you come here, the treatment plan starts here. The surgery happens here. We plan it uh, digitally and then the final restoration is here. Um, so it's from start to finish and that goes for other things too that we do as far as, as, far as root canals. Um, we do some limited orthodontics or tooth movement um, and pretty much everything. Some of the things that we have here that I pride on is, is technology. We have a cone beam CAT scan which means that we can see your bone three-dimensionally in every aspect, which means that we can plan the best position of where the implants go, which makes the best restoration and the best smile and the best longevity. We have a uh, 3D scanner, which scans your teeth, which is like a little wand. So instead of having that gooey impression material in your mouth, now we can do that and um, that's a benefit. So there's less time, there's less uh, gagging, uh, when we're, we're taking impressions 
and uh, I, to me, it, it's 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 a must um, in order to to give you the best result. And it, it's you know, as you can see, I'm I'm excited about it because it, it just keeps getting better and better. So as we get each piece of technology, we're going to implement it. So I had a um, gum disease, and so I couldn't really comfortably eat things. I'd already lost one tooth, and most of my teeth were loose. And so eating things that required pressure, like corn on the cob or hard bread, were out of the question. And then I needed to replace my teeth, and I found Dr. Jamie Laviola, who initially gave me flippers for my front teeth, and that just was not satisfactory um, experience. Still couldn't eat chewy things, couldn't eat corn on the cob, things would get under the denture, and it was really uncomfortable. So my next phase was my third set of teeth, and I now have full replacement, both upper and lower. They're locked in, they don't come out, I don't have to worry about them, I brush them like regular teeth, I can eat whatever I want. Um, there's no sensitivity, no, nothing painful, nothing unusual, it's just like having my natural teeth. I used to hide my teeth, quite frankly, um, because they were stained from years of smoking. And <laughs> So I didn't really show teeth, and now when people do see my smile, especially people who know that I've had work, they're just amazed at how good my teeth look, and the fact that they don't move, they don't bounce, I don't sound funny. Um, so it's a, it's a really comfortable way of getting your teeth replaced. So every single day we see transformations in this office. So I wanna show you some photos that will kinda of, uh, exhibit that. Uh, here's a guy, uh, I could barely get him to smile uh, before we started treatment and um, he was headed to dentures. He had broken teeth, he was wearing partials, uh, he had bad gums, uh, he was unhealthy. So we, so we couldn't save his teeth and his options were either to go to a denture, which for me is not an option, or to do what we did. So on the lower we gave him a beautiful smile teeth supported by six implants and on the upper we did the same thing and this is a gentleman who uh, he loves baseball he goes to spring training we had to actually schedule his appointments around spring training um, and now he can eat all the stuff that he ate when he was a child cracker jacks peanuts all these things at the baseball games and he's thanked me over and over about that and uh, it's been just a terrific experience for him. But look what it's done to his appearance. Uh, he went from somebody who looked very serious and now he's smiling. You can see his personality all the way from his teeth up into his eyes. Look how natural this looks. And uh, he gets compliments and you know, sometimes people that get compliments initially, they're uncomfortable with that. But maybe after the, the fifth, 10th compliment, they start to get comfortable that this is, this, this is, this is their teeth. This is who they are because that's who they used to be. So the denture wearers are a little bit harder to come in uh, because they've adapted. They've been wearing them for a long time. Uh, they've gotten used to it and they've been through so much. They've had uh, teeth uh, worked on, pulled, root canals, everything you can imagine. Um, the next type of patient that we see is someone that is fearful for a lot of reasons, dental fear, and fear that they're gonna keep going through the same process, the dental treadmill, I call it. You know, a filling turns into a root canal, turns into a crown, turn, and they just keep going and they keep spending and, and nothing ever gets fixed. Uh, the next type of patient is someone who thinks they're too old. I, uh, I just did a case that the patient was over 90 and she said it was the best decision. And what you lose out by waiting, is 20 to 30 years of smiling and eating what you want and a quality of life. Fourth type of patient that we see uh, is people that don't think they have enough bone to do dental implants. And maybe they were told that at another practice, but in this practice, I've never been able to not find a solution for somebody based on bone uh, building, bone grafting, and the things that we do. So there's a big learning curve with dental implants. I'm constantly going to courses, uh, traveling, and everybody's gotta start somewhere, um, but you have to keep going. And I'm still learning, um, traveling all the time, so I can give the patients the best science, technology, 
to give them the best smile and function of what they want. So I've been doing dental implants for 11 years and I can't go back to the old way because I don't want to do patchwork. I want to change people's lives. Okay, so this next patient is someone who for 20 years did not like her smile and she would cover it up with her hand, um, very uh, self-conscious. So for her, we gave her a full set of upper and lower teeth using implants and she's back. And, and um, the first time she ate an apple after I gave her her teeth, she actually called her mom uh, and um, was excited about it. When I ate my first apple, I called my mother and I was like, Mom, I just no. ate my first apple. And she laughed at me. <laughs> but you know, I love apples and I hadn't been able to eat them except for applesauce or baked apples. And to bite into that nice big red apple was the best. She's able to eat lots of different foods. She's healthy and she's ecstatic about how her teeth look and um, so it's, it's really exciting for me to see that. So when they, when they look at their teeth for the first time, especially her, um, and they look in that mirror, it's, it's almost like they don't believe it's their teeth. But look what it's done for her appearance. And this is just her temporaries. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing the, the transformation. Uh, you can see it not just in her teeth but in her entire face. And that's, that's really what people look at first. So people with bad teeth are typically, unfortunately in our society, judged. I may or may not like that, but it's the, it's the truth. So in Hollywood, they understand this when they're making movies. Um, if you wanna make someone a, a look poor, you would give them bad teeth or bad looking teeth. If you want to make someone look like a villain, you might make their teeth uh, discolored or, or uh, shaped in fun, you know, in a different funny way. If you want to make someone look like maybe they're phony, uh, you might give them long fake veneers. So a smile is important even in the workforce. If you take two twin sisters, one is smiling, one is not, the one who's smiling is getting is, is going to get the job. So who are you going to hire? And it's not necessarily the teeth, but it's, it's that they're smiling and they have more charisma and confidence. And, and people look at that and that's where it all starts. So there's two types of people, again, that come into our practice. People that are wearing dentures or people that are headed in that direction. And the biggest question is what are their options? Uh, dentures is the first option. And obviously I don't think that's a good option. Second, second option would be to implant, to, to retain the denture in place, or to keep the denture in place. And the problem with that that I've seen is people are not satisfied. They move, they break, they wear out, they, um, they look different over time, you lose bone. The next option is four implants where the denture snaps in and is held in by the implants. And that's better. Um, but still, it's still moving parts and things that can go wrong. The ultimate option, spending a little bit more money, is getting a, a set of fixed teeth that don't come in and out. You can eat whatever you want. Uh, parts don't wear out. Um, and you're going to have a beautiful smile and be able to eat what you want. It's, it's for me, it's... The, the, the best treatment that I can provide for somebody with the highest value. So here's another patient, here's her smile. Uh, she had loose teeth, headed towards dentures, absolutely 100%. And we gave her a full upper and lower set of teeth anchored by implants. Fixed, don't move, she can eat whatever she wants and she can smile with confidence. She's in the pet business and ultimately, no matter what, a smile makes you more attractive. She could chew on a dog bone if she wanted to. So, you know, it's, it, that's how important this is. So this is another one. This is the patient's smile. As you can see, he doesn't even know how to smile in the beginning. Um, and one thing that is important for this patient is that he eats steak and that's his favorite meal. That's all he ever wanted to eat. Um, he was concerned about it. When he's done, he's eating every, he's talking about cuts of ribeye, he's talking about filet mignon, 
um, T-bone, uh, and so he's got a beautiful, so he came, this is a patient that came in to eat better, but he's getting compliments on his smile now, like we talked about. My teeth were rotten. I was un unhappy with them. It had been a long time since I'd been able to eat the foods that I wanted to eat, and uh, uh, I needed to make a change. I was not going to work with dentures. I had experimented with one small denture years ago and knew it wasn't my, uh, wasn't what I wanted to do. So, did my due diligence. I looked around. Um, I googled. I looked for all the information I could find on uh, implant specialists, and Laviola was top of the list. I came down a personable environment. Um, made sense to follow through with discussion that the pricing was right and made a commitment to proceed. I have a brand new set of upper teeth. Yeah, they work well, uh, lets me smile. I grew up in Texas and I am a meat lover and porterhouse, prime rib, New York strip, tenderloin, sirloin, even bacon as a pork. Um, basically those things are, are my favorite foods and I eat them today without pain. Uh, before it was uncomfortable, but it's what I live on. So here's another patient that was headed towards dentures and we gave her a full upper and lower set of teeth anchored on dental implants and now she's able to eat. Uh, she's comfortable, which is, was the biggest factor for her. She had a lot of discomfort and she's healthy. So this is a patient that didn't have a lot of dental fear, but most of my patients do, especially for something like this. And so she, um, most people get either IV sedation or they get general anesthesia in the office, whatever is necessary to make them comfortable uh, so they can get the procedure done and get what their goals are. Um, but th look at her appearance. Look what it's done to her smile and, and, and how much younger she looks. It, it, it's amazing um, what this can do. I didn't go to the dentist until I met Dr. Laviola. Then it was urgent. I had to go to the dentist and he claimed to me that it was too late to repair them. We had to go and have implants and have everything taken care of. It had to be done. It was imperative to be done. There was no choice. And I wasn't going to have slap, clap, clap, like, you know. So he did the talk in one day. It got seven o'clock in the morning. I left at seven o'clock in the evening. And then when that was done, then we waited till everything was nice and pretty and everything all finalized. Then we did the bottom, which wasn't urgent, but it had to be done. So now he's doing the bottom and it's nearly finished. And he had put, uh, that's it. And I did not, I was not sedated, I did not suffer, I didn't take painkillers for the bottom of the pot. I did not have pain, period. I took the antibiotics, but uh, uh, there was no pain. I, I eat the same way, except I don't have to be careful because I don't want, I'm not going to lose a tooth anymore. I see personality changes with these, uh, with these smile changes that, and transformations that we do every day. Um, we see people that get jobs. We see people that um, have better relationships with their within their marriage uh, because they can go out to eat and not feel uh, like um, they're not confident. We, we, we've had a patient tell uh, just recently my front desk that they've never walked out of a dentist's office smiling, and uh, that, that's pretty typical, right? Uh, but they told my front desk that they walked out smiling and um, on her follow-up visit, she told me that she was going out to eat now because she wasn't concerned about uh, food getting caught, um, how her appearance looked, um, what she could eat. So typically people come in and they want to eat or get out of pain. And in that case, um, they end up getting compliments and feel good about their smile. And some people come in just because they want a better smile and they realize what they're able to eat that they couldn't eat before. And so it, it's kind of a two-way uh, streak that, uh, that you know, you're looking for one thing and you get the other thing. And um, so it's fantastic. I can now eat corn on the cob. I can eat my French bread sandwiches. <laughs> and I don't have any worries about um, with my peanut butter sandwiches or anything, my teeth popping out on me. Whereas with my denture, occasionally my teeth would get stuck to the sandwich and that was a navigation of how do I discreetly fix this problem. So I'm now comfortable when I go out to eat not worrying about my teeth because they're just like everybody else's. So this is another patient that was referred uh, by a family member and he was uh, definitely going to lose his teeth 
uh, on the top, he had almost lost all of his teeth. And I did an emergency, emergency fix for him. And that was because he knew what he wanted. He wanted a full set of fixed teeth and he wanted Im dental implants. Um, so now he has a full set of upper and lower teeth anchored on six implants. So now he can eat whatever he wants. And it's, 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 it's a pleasure to see him because when he comes in, he's always happy. Um, and it's because of the change that we've made in his function. For nine to 10 years, maybe even 15, I hated my teeth. I uh, had trouble eating, you know, and I didn't want dentures because I had tried partials and didn't like the result. My wife introduced me to Dr. Laviola, and so I decided that I would give it a try. He told me what he could do for me, and he would do an upper and lower partials, or actually full replacement of the teeth there. It's the best thing that I've ever done, and I'm very surprised to say that. Uh, I can now eat, you know, steak. I can eat any foods that I've wanted, peanuts, whatever. Uh, I even chew on ice, which he probably doesn't like very much because I'm sure that's stressing the teeth more than he would like me to do. Um, and I smile a lot more. And people from my office and people I know prior to me not being very smiley uh, have say that I look great, that my teeth look fantastic, and they've even asked who was my doctor, and I did tell them who my doctor was. So here's another patient who would have been wearing a denture. Uh, he had a condition, he was taking medications, his mouth became dry, and he ended up getting cavities in all of his teeth and needed to lose all his teeth. We ended up giving him a full set of upper and lower teeth retained by six implants on the top and the bottom, and he can eat whatever he wants. He's happy with a smile. Um, in fact, uh, a good story, uh, he's working out now again. Um, he brought me a thing of protein powder and, and a, a workout band, um, and we've become friends. So look at the difference it's made in his smile, uh, and he's still learning to smile. Um, it, it's incredible, you can see his teeth now, um, even though he's still learning to smile, and it, it's a dramatic change for him. And you can see it all the way up his face again. I know I've said that before, but it's true, because uh, everything starts with your smile. So I was a, a white knuckle dentist patient. Um, people had to block the door so I wouldn't bolt out. And my first surgery was done with IV uh, sedation, and I don't remember a thing. Um, the staff here with Dr. Laviola has got me to the point where I'm completely comfortable coming to the dentist. I have no more fear. I don't worry about it. I walk in the door, I sit in the chair, and now I don't need sedation to that degree. So when I have my lower done, we just did mild sedation, and that was totally fine with that. And very comfortable, no pain, no worries, no stress. I'm a wimp on pain, and the sedation was absolutely essential. I was going to be out for the whole thing. I've done a number of other surgeries. Uh, through life and had not bothered with pain. And this wound up being great. Um, daughter was around to take me home, slept the night. It was great, no pain. So here's another person who could not save his upper teeth and his options were dentures, but he wasn't gonna, not gonna do that, absolutely not. So we gave him uh, six implants and a full set of upper fixed teeth. Now he can eat. Um, he had very little discomfort through the process. So, so most of these people, they come in, they get either IV sedation, sometimes general anesthesia, uh, they get numb, whatever it takes to get comfortable. And that's a big part of what we do here is making sure that patients are comfortable. And there's a lot of different ways to do it. This particular patient had IV sedation. And um, you know, look, again, look at his smile. It's changed everything. He can eat what he wants. Um, and he is, uh, 100% uh, happy with where he is. Here's another patient who didn't like his teeth, uh, wasn't able to eat, um, was uncomfortable, and we were able to save some teeth. Uh, he did have um, a large cyst where I had to take out three, four teeth, do some bone grafting um, to build up the bone for the implants. And so he has quite a few implants. 
He's got quite a few teeth that we re that we fixed, and and now he's happy. Look at the difference. That was his smile before, and look at his, the smile after. Uh, he, he didn't even know how to smile before. He was just doing a fake smile for the camera. But now, when you look at the after, you can see it's a real smile because once again, it, it, it it's it's a full face smile. I couldn't eat pizza. Uh, we do pizza movie night with my kids every Friday, and it would just, I would have to cut it and put it back into the back of the mouth because the front was just, it, it hurt too much. I was gonna have to deal with it, I just didn't want to. So I'd been putting it off for so long. And then when my teeth did break, um, my wife said, we have to get this taken care of. You have to find somebody. And that's when I found Dr. Laviola. I really felt like I was gonna, my teeth were so bad and they were starting to break that I, imagine ending up with the upper dentures my mom has which just go in and then they fall out when she's eating or sometimes even when she's just talking to people but i don't have to have that problem because my teeth are permanent i had uh, a full dental implant in the front i have two implanted screws and then they're just they're attached <laughs> they're not coming out i can eat an apple i've never been able i haven't been able to eat an apple in over a decade from when the army fixed my teeth. Um, I can eat tacos, I can eat tacos all day. Now it's, I can bite, I can chew, I can tear into things, all I want. I am a big believer in that nobody should wear loose dentures. Um, get, get the implants. I mean, you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to think about it, there's no adjustments that need to happen because even with dentures, you're constantly getting them adjusted to get them to fit snugly again. And this way, they're, they're bolted in your head, they're not coming out and you're not bouncing around, and it's just totally worth the money um, because now my teeth are, are set. I don't have to worry about them, I don't have to think about them. You know, it's just natural teeth, only I bought them. Before I got my teeth, you would never have caught me being filmed like this. And now that I have my teeth, I can't stop smiling. I'm totally satisfied with it. Uh, I would recommend that you at least look into it and find out if it's for you. And if it is, you won't regret it. It absolutely is solid money spent. I would not change the decision. It was the right money at the right time for what I needed to accomplish. Packaging, the financing to make it happen was, was key. Beyond that, um, that's, that's the nature of a good investment. And the teeth, they're a great investment. It's definitely well worth the money. Um, you can't really put a price on confidence and feeling like the best version of yourself. I just would recommend Dr. Laviolo to anybody because he's very kind, very nice, very patient. And he had a lot of work to do with me. <laughs> Even though I'm a good patient, I, he does admit that. <laughs> so I hope you learned uh, a few things about the dental implant process. And I'd like to thank you for tuning in. If you have a loose fitting denture or you're about to lose all your teeth, I invite you in for a free consult to discuss all the options and see how affordable it is to create a beautiful smile that you can eat, smile, and have a better quality of life.